just your thoughts on uh, the series from you know game one to game three. No, I mean Old Dominion's a, a, a really good team in the Sun Belt. Obviously, they've they played well all year. Um, you know, we knew going in it was going to be difficult. They can really swing the bats. That's, that's the one thing that they bring to the table. Is offensively, they're they're very good one through nine, and they got a good approach to play. Then they got power. Um, and we had a difficult time holding them down on Friday. Did a really good job yesterday. We just didn't score behind Carmack and Butts. Um, and they basically pitched just as well. Uh, but today we, we got the upper hand and really proud of our guys and our hitters coming through at the back end of the game. Well, and even the pitching as well. You know, Jeans goes out early, you know, and then pretty much by committee from there. But, I mean, even just, you know, early innings, middle innings, late innings, it you know, really wasn't any holes there today. We got a tough break with Tyler getting out of the game. And, and so Jake Algie picked it up, did a fantastic job to kind of get the game under control for us. And then Bryce shares, you know, probably the pitching MVP of the game, kind of controlled the middle innings to allow our offense to settle in. And then you hand the ball off to Griner and then Con over at the back end. So uh, kind of a staff. Got it done today and really proud. Coach Dunn has been prepping these guys all year to come in and pitch and and when they get those opportunities. So kudos to the pitching staff and Coach Dunn. Well, and then, you know, play discipline. You guys drew a lot of walks today. And then, you know, obviously the sixth inning and eighth inning as well, being able to break through. You know, just, just kind of run me through the, the sixth and eighth innings and just how important that was. No, I think the turning point in the game, the momentum shifted on Braden Kasky's uh, tag up from second base, able to score on a sack fly, two runs. That was a big deal. It kind of shifted everything in our dugout. Uh, and then we took advantage of some things in the in the la in the eighth inning, and then we got the big grand slam, which really propelled us. So, uh, just really proud of our guys. You know, it's it's very difficult. This league is so good um, from top to bottom, and you know, game one to game two to game three, and you really have to separate it. Uh, and you can't have any carryover. Um, and our guys have, are learning that process, and uh, just really proud of them to be able to get, come out today and play well. Sure. And then finally, you know. Final stretch of the season here, final couple Sun Belt series. Just, you know, what are you telling the guys just to kind of prepare them for One this game life? at a time. One game at a time. That's all we can do. We can't play six of them in a row, and we can't win six in a row on one game. We got to play game one on Friday when we go to App and uh, and go from there. And that's how we got to approach this. Sure. And then, you know, uh, talking about uh, Tuesday's non conference as well. Just, uh, just a well coached team. You know, Chris Curry does a tremendous job with his club. Uh, uh, we know Noah Sanders, he does a really good job with their hitters and they're going to be so well prepped and, and they're having a great season and um, in their league right now. And, and uh, But you know, it's something that we're not seeing uh, each other's one, twos or threes. So it's a little different game because it's in the midweek and everybody's getting ready for the weekend. They're battling in their league and we're battling our league. So it's, it's really kind of, a, you know, who's going to be, who's going to perform well offensively and who can make plays in the field. We just, we got going, clicking on offense heavy at Tyler Jeans. He, uh, he came out, that's our guy. Something ended up happening, cutting his foot. And uh, we had a guy step up and Jake Algie, guy out of the pen that usually isn't, you know, he's going to do that too often. He came out there, gave some shutdown innings. And, um, you know, our pen was just outstanding today. Gave us a good chance to win. And our offense, I know we got a lot of like confidence in our offense. We uh, we work on you know having quality at bats, hitting balls hard, and uh, coaches did a good job of preparing us. And um, I just got a lot of confidence in these guys, and I think we're gonna end on a hot note here. Well, absolutely. They're talking about just you know the way that today went. Obviously, you mentioned you know the starter you know, going down a little bit early, having yeah. bullpen having to you know pick up the slack so to speak, and then you know bottom of the third, you guys you know get on the board, and then you really broke through in the sixth. But you know, just talk about that sixth and eighth inning, and, and just you know kind of what it does for you know from a confidence standpoint. You know, to you guys. It's just it's just a, it's just all it strings together. Just one guy goes up there, has a good at bat, hits a ball hard, and uh, you know guys just pick up off of that. So that's really all it takes. You just got just one guy. It takes one guy to get it done, and the next guy steps up, just pass the stick. This is kind of what we've been taught as offense this year, and you know it showed today. We had a pretty good day offensively and pitching. Sure, a multi-hit game for you, and just you know talking about your season so far, just from you know started the season to now. I guess just where, where are some of the biggest takeaways that, that you've had, not only of your game, but just as a team, uh, from a team perspective as well. You know, I mean, we'd had, we'd had some tough breaks. We had a lot of arms go down. We've had a few injuries, but, um, you know, these guys, we've, we come here, work hard every day, just try to, you know, play the game hard, improve every day. And um, I think we're, we have a lot of confidence going into these next nine games, and I think we're, we're going to go on a little hot run here. Got a lot of faith in these guys.